Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to the channel, and welcome here to another than, well, SVRP, and basically, I'm going to be showcasing the server, so, basically, this is where you spawn, when you first start off, so, when you spawn here, this is the green zone, basically, this is where everyone spawns, you can set up your character, you can create your character, you can look at the cars, and etc and this is basically where things that are not supposed to be legit because you're seeing things spawn in like the immersive world and RP what we're doing you do it here that way no one sees what's going on and you just do your thing and whatnot so you start off in the server you spawn as this ped now you got plenty of options you hit your F1 you can see who's online i'm the only one online i'm a senior sub here in the server which means i'm someone that's been here for a while and i do good rp and i try to be as legit as possible and i'm not here to just trying to kill cops and whatnot i'm trying to actually put some legit rp on and have a good time you know so yeah and with senior subs you get some perks in the server and being able to spawn certain classes and whatnot but i mean even if you're not a senior sub you can still spawn a lot of stuff and you can still have fun and there's a lot of immersive rp and buildings and whatnot i'm going to showcase and show you guys here so let's get on with um none other than what you could do with your player related options because if you go down here this is where you got your options you could uh go over here which i have a bunch of saved heads and i got animals you name it and whatnot and I have a lot of amazing like characters that I use sometimes as there are ways that are in here and some are the old characters I had for main characters which I no longer use but I still have them in there but and then down here this is where I got my main characters whatnot I got copies a lot of different different um like you know styles of the clothing same characters but you know just different style of clothing this is my home i don't barely play anywhere else so i mean there may be like uh lecrp for mickey but other than that mickey only goes there because he likes to sell drugs over there and do drugs and the drug script is a little different than what the drug script in this server is which i'll showcase that here momentarily so we are going to basically spawn in you know what, I'm gonna spawn in these Jewish flowers, man. Basically, this is the uh, cousin of Mickey Flowers. Mickey Flowers just won it, so I've been wanting to play as a, like a stoner character. And this is a younger stoner character, not an older stoner character, so he's way younger. But that's what you could do when you're spawning players. If you go back to your F1 and say you found the character you want, you made your character and whatnot, you can go down here. Now, you don't got a vehicle, so you don't say you don't got none saved and you're new. You come down here. Now, we got plenty of uh, vehicles you could choose from. So, you would come down here to your add-on vehicles. And then, what thing that's cool about this, you could either spawn by the manufacturer or you could spawn by the category. So, say you go here. Boom. We got Audi. BMW, we got Cadillac, we got Chevrolet, we got Chrysler, we got Dodge, Ford, GMC, Harley Davidson, Honda, we got um, Hyundai, we got uh, Indian, we got Jeep, we got Kawasaki, Kinsworth, Kia, we got Lamborghini, we got Lawnmower, we got um, Lexus. Mazda, Nissan, Plymouth, Pontiac, Porsche, we got Subaru, we got um, taxi cabs, we got Tesla, we got Toyota, we got trailers, Volkswagen, and we got Yamaha. And you could go through all of these and you can see which type of one you would want to spawn. And there's different models. But see me, I already 
say I already got a car and I'm not um, going to spawn one out of there because say I already got one saved and I'm going to come down to here I'm going to go to so I'm going to go to my uh, yeah, let's go to motorcycles so basically motorcycles um, that I'm going to be uh, uh, showing real quick before we leave the spawn area is because um, one of the things I want to advertise before I start showcasing a role playing um, I'm not role playing, showing the showcasing the places that you can go role play and whatnot. Um, I want to introduce a new thing that we're trying to start here on the server, me and some other civilians, and we want to make it as legit as possible. We want to make it as real as it could be, and we want to have legit people that's going to be down with it. So, I have certain bikes that are for the motorcycle club only, and I'm not sure exactly which one is my favorite favorite. Um. I mean, if it comes to these two right here, the boppers, of course, those are my top two, kind of. But, like, I'm talking about favorite, favorite for, like, keeping up with the motorcycle gang because these boppers are pretty slow. So, I mean, I have a few different options of which ones I like. Now, the numbers one through blah, 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 that's not the ranking of order how I like them. That's just the order of how I would save them one two so they're basically all of the bikes that I chose that I like but we're gonna go through them real quick so if we go up here this is the first bike this is potential to be number one because I like the saddlebags I like the hippie style look in the back and it just looks really good and Mickey has a version just like this in yellow that he's going to have. I thought it reminded me of the Indiana bikes that we had. And it's pretty dope. So, I like this bike. It's a potential number one. But I'm not 100% sure on if this is the bike I'm going to be using. But then, we got another than another potential. I like how this one looks. This one looks really amazing as well. And this one looks really cool to use. And the handling, everything's good. It's just like the first one. Now this one is a potential runner-up in the future when it gets fixed. I love the engine sound. But basically, it is glitchy. You start speeding and the bike bounces up and down. The back tires just screech and just spill rubber. You're just drifting. And then once you get to a certain speed, you make a left. The bike just wants to tip over and fall. So, I call this a drag bike. If you're going to a drag strip, take this bike. If it, they got this handle on, like the handling line, and they don't fix it, like, yeah, yeah, take this to a drag strip. You're only going straight with this bike. That, but other than that, I lo love the look. I wish it was just fixed, and I would, I would love to ride that bike more. Then we got a next potential runner-up. I like this one. I like the handlebars so high up. I love the red LED speakers right there. This bike is a really nice bike. And I was able to give it custom rims like some of the bikes I have with the custom rims. You'll see with the Spider and some other ones. But some I couldn't do custom. You keep what you get. But a few of these do have customs. But all these ones are potential runner-ups to be my main bike right now. I'm not 100% sure on which I really want. I really like this bike as well. This bike is dope. I mean, all these bikes are potential runner-ups on what we could use. And if you join our motorcycle club, the Outlaws here in the server of uh, SVRP, you'll potentially get a chance to spawn these. And there's a few others that I did not save. I just only saved the ones that I kind of like, in my opinion. Everyone has their own opinions. You could like a different bike. But me, if it could be more old school, and they could have more old school bikes like the Bobber, but they went fast like these ones, I'd be happy. But yeah, so these are all potential runner-ups when I'm with the crew, but when I'm just riding around for fun, you know, it's just going to be no other than the Bobber right here, which this was the first bike I was given to when I joined the uh, Outlaws, and I like this one because... It's got the shoddy on the side right there, as you see. And this one is got great handling. It's just a little slow, but other than that, it's pretty good. And then we got none other than 
the bobber too and whatnot and all the plates for the outlaws that are on any bikes that have plate they all are not registered because that's what we choose to do for the outlaws don't register your bikes keep it that way you know so yeah um but yeah these are uh bikes and whatnot i got other bikes like this bike here is uh, a bike for on the character I use Jimmy and it's a BMW I mean, we got different style types of bikes we even got a pit bike which is a tiny little uh, motorcycle and it's kind of like you know uh, you, you bought yourself a little like mini mini bike and I was told they're gonna dumb it down where it only goes like 80 and I was like that's pretty dope but right now it, it goes as fast as you know any other one and then this is uh, Mickey's bike because it reminds me of the hippie-ish and I love the paint job I gave it because it's got like the like the orangish tint to the yellow so it's like really look cheesy killer man it's like nacho cheese but yeah so other than that, you would get your character, and then after you set your character up, you got your bike, say this is the bike I'm riding and whatnot, and this is the character I want, and then basically, you go out, and let's go explore the road, so let's start going to some places, and I'm going to showcase, so sit back, relax, and enjoy what you're about to see here, and what you could, well, do here in SBRP. So as you see, as you're driving towards going do you like Sandy and whatnot area, Harmony and whatnot, and going towards Grapeseed and the highway and whatnot, you see all these immersive trees that have been put in the server, and it just makes the game look so much different as you're playing. Sometimes it doesn't feel like you're playing GTA 5. Sometimes it feels like you're playing totally something different, and then you don't realize you're actually playing GTA 5, but just all the immersive scenery that you will see here in SVRP is amazing and here are some of it that you're witnessing and I will showcase more as we continue things on so as we continue things on we're heading over here to Stab City you can see one thing that's pretty different Stab City has a paved road this paved road will continue going all the way along until you get to the end of uh Grapeseed on Main Street. So we'll take it down just a little. I'll show you. But basically, yeah, this will take you all the way around and wrap to the other side of Grapeseed over here. And it is a nice scenery on the way riding through. So if you guys join, you could come take this little tour and drive your car through and explore and see the new things that look totally different than what you would get to see playing regular GTA or maybe in the server that you're in and maybe you're trying to find a new server to join and if you join there's so much RP you could do there's so much immersions and MLOs and things that you could do to make it look legit and you could have fun and I can't wait to see you here but Continuing on with some amazing roads, here comes another amazing road right here that is usually a dirt road in GTA. Many other servers don't have this road, and it's basically taking you all the way down until you get to the very end to the yellow jack, and then by the airfield over there. So that's where you can make the left and go towards Sandy, or make the right and basically uh, go towards uh, the yellow jack. And 68 and whatnot. So this is a nice little paved road and whatnot. And they got the little cutoff sections where it turns into the dirt. And the people who did this road and customized it, and made it for the servers for people to use and get. Just amazing. And they even got the signs perfectly. And you come over here. This road will take you uh, out to the 68. And then when we get to 68, we got some MLOs that we'll be able to show you. Because as we go down here, I used to have a place called The Ark, which Jimmy Wong used to work at, one of my characters here on my channel. And 
basically uh, some some douche some douche bought it at a RP and it is now something totally different and I'm glad it's here because it's pretty cool to have something different but I love that there was an art because it was different but yeah but you come here and you get yourself a little mechanic shop and this is what the mechanic shop looks like in the inside you got yourself a nice little area over here for sitting and chilling vending machines where you pay for your stuff there goes all your rims and then you got a garage that opens up the back and this is where you come out the back and then if you come back in we go back out there's an MLO right on the other side where the arc used to be where Jimmy used to work one of my characters and is no longer the arc anymore so if we get off and we go walk in here Boom, it is a house. It is legit a house, and it is no longer the Ark. Now, I'm not upset, because I'm just RPing Jimmy is going to work somewhere else now. But yeah, this is basically a big house that you can come explore. And there's much more, way much more that is going to be put inside this server. And there's just a lot where you could RP and have fun at, you know? Make all these stories. Make all this stuff for other civilians to have fun and RP with you. But that's just some of the MLOs. And obviously, you got your clothing store still. Then you come over here. And this is another MLO that's pretty good. Because you go in here. And it's a showroom. So, say you uh, want to, like, spawn some cars. And you could do the little magic, uh, little F2 stuff. Because uh, you got the power. You could put some cars here. And whatnot. And RP it. It's a car show. Me, personally, I don't have the F2 ability. So, I cannot do that. But, people that can, that you become to get to know you might be able to ask them and they might be able to do that for you but other than that um, let's go show you some more MLOs and things that you could do here in SVRP alright so now when we get over to this location here in Sandy you come in here and this is basically a little workshop that you can come and RP and bring some cars in um, do some little RP repair and whatnot. I mean, if anything, I would say uh, this is where, in the future, uh, Gene, Gene and uh, Carter come back and get a shop going. It's pretty small. Got a little workbench. It's not big like they had in Indiana, maybe. But, yeah. Also, that's a place where uh, felons and people who break laws and kidnap people and try to kill people, uh, you know, uh, get beat up and whatnot. And this point is a mess. We'll head on to the next location. So, we come in. And this is basically what I call a Rasta bar. So, you got the little area to drink your beers and whatnot. Come back in. And then you got another than a nice little workshop that the bar has. All the bars have the workshops. That's because the workshops are meant for these people that are downstairs that are associated with the bars. And it's probably their bar to begin with. And it's because downstairs you got your bathrooms. And then you got your chill room. You got your bunk bedroom for everyone that's down here that would need to sleep. And then you got your little jail cell to lock your inmates up. Because this is a motorcycle club. And in here, this is where the motorcycle club would meet and chill and, you know, do their discussions. So, this is a Rasta bar. Another location that you could come chill at. 
But let's continue on and bring you to some more places that you can go possibly to land. So as we come here into Sandy, as you see the boathouse looks totally different because this is a custom MLO boathouse. Another place where you can come and have some good uh, RP. It is a really nice place. It's got uh, stuff outside you could use for the RP aspect of whatever you would have in mind to do. But then you got all of this. So you got your dartboard. You got your little manager's office. For the owner. You got your bathrooms. And whatnot. And you got some chairs in here, you know. And then you got none other than some sitting areas for anyone that just wants to sit and chillax in the main lobby. Then you come out here. You got none other than where you would have someone kidnapped and they would sit in that chair, you know. Because this is like another biker bar type deal. Play your poker and whatnot. You got your safe, your guns. A lot of a lot of RP you could do. A lot of amazing aspects with the MLOs that it gives you. And then you got a door right here that leads you outside to the back. Then you go over there on on this side, and you got your pool table and whatnot. You know, you got your bar. Then behind there, you got your jukebox, and I'm assuming. One of the ladies would dance in there. <laughs> Assuming. Definitely a lady will dance right there. Get your little TV. It's a little tube TV, but hey, it is what it is. You don't gotta always have nice furniture, darn. But then you come upstairs. You come up to the main room right here. This is where the presidents and whatnot would have their, you know, like, meetings, you know, and then you got your jewel box, and you come out here, and you can come out on the roof over here, and there's like a bunch of couches and stuff you can find on the roof, and sit up there and go chillax. Other than that, this is the boathouse. Now let's go check out some of the other MLOs. Alrighty, so as we come down here to Sandy, you see right over here, we got the new medical station. Although there's a bush there. <laughs> they need to fix that. But yeah, we got the new medical station right here for Sandy. Then you come over here. And you got the police station. Which I believe that's a different police station. If I'm not mistaken, I think they I think they upgraded and changed. Oh yeah, they sure did. So we got a new police station. Upgraded police station here in Sandy, which that's the one that was always in Los Angeles real quick. Continuing things on the MLOs here in the Sandy Shores area. You got the famous bar right here. This bar, ladies and gentlemen, belongs to Mickey Sticky Flares and Dicky Icky Cheese. Mainly, it's Mickey's bar. He paid for it. Dicky helps out because it's their bar. They both live upstairs, basically, and but Mickey owns the bar 100%. Dicky spent his money on helping try to buy the house upstairs because it was very expensive. But Mickey got a good steal on uh, <coughs> this bar because uh, <coughs> people keep dying. <laughs> if you want to know more about that, go watch some videos on my channel. And you'll find out. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, the bar, and this is what my character Mickey Sticky Flowers owns. And there's a character that kind of runs it right now, but eventually he's going to have to go uh, where some of the other characters went. I mean, even if there were locals in this dumpster, he might die. 
Oh, wait, did they take out that we can't hide dumpsters anymore? Yeah, they sure did. We used to be able to hide dumpsters. I guess they got tired of that. But yeah, you come up here. And this is making sticky flowers and dicky icky cheeses as they both live here, man. You got a piano, TV, you got the beers, because they don't fucking clean up. You got a nice pool table, table, kitchen area. You got a bed, fucking messy, you don't fucking make it. Fucking, you got another TV, a couch. You got like a, a nice little small bathroom and whatnot, you know. But yeah, this is making sticky flowers house. So if you guys come into the server to SVRP, make sure you stop at uh, another than 296, ladies and gentlemen. Making a Dickies Bar. Come get some beers. The beers are always cheap here at Making a Dickies Bar. We try to get the better prices because the L Jack's expensive. But yeah, that goes for some of the MLOs uh, here in Sandy. So let's continue things on and show you some more MLOs. As you see, there's another bar that you can come to if you wanted to. There's a biker bar. This was a bar that we had in the Wisconsin server, which basically everything from Wisconsin, the people, we all transferred over. Just a new, improved, and better server. But yeah, this is like the main inside of the bar and whatnot. Then you come to these doors, you got like a little garage area and whatnot, you know. You didn't used to see the, the West Geeka rejects, you know. You can see the West Kika logo. And we're technically not in Wisconsin anymore, so, I mean, but there was the MC Club that was in Wisconsin. The Devil Rejects right there. But yeah, but this was a clubhouse down here for the Devil Rejects, and it's a nice little bar. I mean, you got where you got your guns, your money laundering and whatnot. Pretty decent. But even if you're not RPing as like a motorcycle club or whatnot, you know. If you're just trying to like just come to the bar and chill and have some good aspect. I mean, pretty pretty open. A lot a lot of RP you could do, you know, here. But if we continue things on, we come over to this bar right here. This is Mickey and Dickie's favorite bar because if you all don't remember this, this is the bar from Indiana. This is the bar that Mickey and Dickie always got kicked out. Now, we was told maybe we could try to own this bar. I mean, I'd rather someone else own it. We just keep on getting kicked out. And the only bar that we don't get kicked out is my bar because I own that bar. But, yeah. This is basically the bar from Indiana. And SVRP. So you guys can come here. You can drink. You can see Mickey and Dickie here. Obviously the cops are coming. Be warned, we're getting kicked out, and you guys don't get kicked out too, but yeah, you got guns and everything, man. And you got the place where you could have all your meetings with your biker club, and you come here, boom, desk and everything, man. But yeah, let's go check out some more. Because now we're going to head into, uh, I believe, Polito. And as you see, as we head out the Grapeseed right there, that would be the road that goes from the other side of uh, where you go to Stab City. And it connects all the way over there. It's a nice little big road. Pretty sick. But you come down Harmony. I mean, not how many grape seed. There's really not much MLOs in grape seed. Hopefully they add more. But, I mean... Yeah, so let's continue on the Pulido now. Alrighty, as we get here into none other than, uh... Pulido. We've got some places that you can come out here and RP at. My textures are a little messed up over here. I'm not sure if it's just mine or everyone else's, but... You also have to imagine I run NVE, which is Natural Vision Evolved, and it's a Patreon mod, so, oh well, yeah, you got your little store here, you come RP, get you some food, 
then you come over here and you got a little key key smith key 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 smith place so like you can get a key made Not, all, not also that we have over here bathrooms and then if we go over here this is the shop that you basically have for a mechanic shop. So you come over here. This is where you basically sit, wait for your car to get fixed. And this is where you pay for your stuff, you know? And then the garages are basically the same GTA stuff. Now as you see coming here to Polito, you see a bunch of new houses and everything right here. Well, the reason why you see a bunch of new houses is within here because we have a park right here. So basically this is a park. And all this gets replaced. And this turns into a park. And as you see, houses are here. a little more it's like a club it's empty and whatnot but you can argue that you get your bike done you can fix the work down here you know and this bar is not fancy it's just a small little bar but Got your little place to work out. Have your little meetings. And this door has your little bathroom area, you know. Small little bar. Pretty decent. Nothing special. Other than that. Alright, so as we are about to be leaving Polito, we got the little fire station right there. And as you come forward, you got the pig station right there, you feel the pigs. <laughs> Other than that, once you leave, you come here, and this whole entire section is barricaded all the way down to, I believe, the, the first or second bridge. So this is pretty legit. That's a lot of the MLOs and stuff and emergency you can see out here um, in the county. And a lot of the times this is where we mostly locate for the time being until we can get a bigger community. But I prefer the county in my opinion because it's just something I prefer. I like the county, I like being open. I like being in a city, that's just my opinion, but yeah. Other than that, you got all these beautiful trees, you got all these beautiful new roads, you got lots of MLOs, and I'm pretty sure that this is just a majority, like not even a handful, majority of the MLOs that I went through. We got plenty of more in the server for you guys to go find and discover. So, there will be a link down in the description below, ladies and gentlemen. And later on in the future when we get the motorcycle club, I want to showcase that here in our server. But basically, um, yeah, so that's another um, thing Scott Valley will play, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, um, other than that, the motorcycle club, um, we're getting jackets in. We have personal bikes if you become a full member of the club. Um, and we want to get more people to RP, even if you don't want to be a part of the motorcycle club. So, um, if you all want to join, the link will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. And hopefully in the server while I'm recording. <laughs>